Now that you've had a chance to look at these two problems, let's go through them and see what you get. So what percent is a decrease from 70 to 14? So first of all, we need to know what is the decrease? From 70 to 14, that would be 70, 60, 56. So we're looking for 56. That's what we want to try to find because that's how much it actually decreases. So we'll set up our problem. 70 equals 100 percent and we're trying to get to 56. Um, I could divide by 10 and I could divide by 10 that gets me 7 and that gets me 10 percent so every 7 I go up is 10 percent I'm trying to get 56. Now this works pretty nice because 7 actually goes into 56 so I could just do 7 times 8 to get 56 to get this number right here and then I just have to do 10 times 8 and that's 80 percent. So we would say that from 70 to 14, if it drops that much, that is an 80 percent decrease. 80 percent would be your answer here. And that makes sense because if you go from 70 down to 14, you're going more than halfway down to zero, so it should be a pretty big decrease, and it's 80 percent. What is it 50 after a 350 percent increase? So this problem is basically 50 plus whatever 350 percent is question mark we'll see what that is so 50 is our 100 percent this one's actually really easy because I can add a hundred percent three times to get 300 then I just need that extra 50 percent which is easy to obtain by just dividing by two here so every 25 is 50 percent so now I can kind of lay this out and add things together here. 50 is 100%. 50 is 100%. 50 is 100%. And then I have down here, I have 25 is 50%. If I add all those up, 50, 50, 50, and 25 would be 175. And then 100 plus 100 plus 100 plus 50 is 350 percent. So we found what 350 percent is. Now we just need to increase our 50 by that. So I'm going to come down here. I'm going to get rid of this 350 percent, and I'm going to replace it with 175. So now if I do 50 plus my 350 percent, which was 175. I get my final total, which is 225. Hopefully this makes sense to you. If not, make sure you come and find me and I'll help you out.